What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can create an OBS counter now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, if you haven't downloaded OBS which is open broadcast software I'll leave all the links in the video description you can see it works with Windows Mac OS 10.10 uh, .10 plus and Linux and it's a great um, capture software which you can use now if you run a stream you may want to get hold of uh, the Jimmy Amplet, which is a, a amplet which you can use, which is called Snaz, and this is going to allow you to create your counter. So if you do run a stream, you can have a counter on there, letting know, letting people know when you start in your stream. Okay, so open up uh, the amplet here and just run this. This is called Snaz. We're going to call it Snaz because that's what it is, and then just go ahead and install it. It's going to go into the C root directory, which is fine. Just click Next, and you can create. A desktop shortcut if you wish and then click install and we're going to launch uh, SNAZ. Now you may be looking at this and thinking this looks really complicated but it's really not if you look here we have it in blocks here time date uh, countdown and specific time and you can uh, set up all your uh, other stuff as well but we'll cover that in other videos but on this one we're just looking at countdowns now you can see here the countdown and specific time here this is the bit we're going to concentrate on and output format is as you can see here days hours uh, minutes and seconds so you can leave that as is if you wish but I'm going to remove the days and hours because I don't want uh, to do that because most streamers will be starting their stream in 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever so it's only going to be minutes and seconds that I'm interested in so we can remove these two uh, front ones here and delete those off there now you can put some text in the front here going live in uh, so many minutes and seconds if you wish uh, or you can just put that into a JPEG and add that in a little bit later on now the countdown uh, or countdown to will be uh, this here which is your date so you want to set your date up here and your time so I'm just going to put this in quickly and you just basically highlight these and put in the date here when you're starting your stream it's pretty simple so and that's uh, how you can go about doing that there you go and this is the uh, countdown here so you can put the countdown uh, timer on here now I'm going to put uh, the timer now so you can get an idea so it'll be 16 and I'll just put in some timer here now you need to make sure that you're giving yourself enough time uh, to get the stream started so if you want to start uh, say 15 minutes time you just put in a time so this is the actual time now that would be no good because obviously uh, the stream will be uh, starting right with literally right now so you'd have to put a timer on there for how long you want it so I'm just gonna say uh, 1640 and that's when the stream will start so you can see here we do have a countdown is done you can put in here what message you want uh, so I'm gonna put starting now something like that and I'm just gonna put uh, now and uh, this will uh, be what the message uh, that comes up after we uh, start our stream it just gives you a plenty of time okay now also here as I said you can put in uh, a message here now you can see this will just be um, minutes and seconds showing up here uh, when I click start but I'm just going to put going live and then space in and it will be the minutes and seconds that will display on the screen now you don't have to do this uh, but you can do whatever you like here now we can click the start button here and this will start SNAZ and get us ready okay we still need to go into OBS and set that up but if you look here uh, we can click start and now you can see the timer is running now that is created a, a countdown text file which is in the SNAZ folder now I'm going to put removed a time span equal to zero um, on there as well and you can copy path to the clip uh, board if you wish now what we're going to do now once we've got this set up exactly how we want it I'm going to put this down and drop it down to uh, my taskbar here you need to leave that running because that is your counter when it finishes counting down it will go off and you don't have to worry so let's start a new uh, scene I'm going to call it countdown and click OK you can call yours whatever you like and you can set up all your scenes down here OK and this just makes it organized and makes it a lot easier to do so now we have to put in a source for our scene so I'm just going to hit the plus button here 
and you can see here we've got the text uh, file here so I'm going to click on this one and uh, what we're going to do is name this uh, something so we understand what it is so I'm going to pull, call it counter text something like that and then we can now click OK once we click OK we can now start to change our font but you can see here read from file put the tick in there and what we're going to do is locate that file that we just created with snaz and this is going to give us our uh, counter so go into here now you can paste that into the file name here but I'll show you it's in the snaz folder here and you should see it in text files and you can see countdown inside here but you don't have to click on it if you don't want to you can just um, paste it in there if you wish like so and paste the actual path in here and click open and that will be it pretty much so let me just quickly go back into that folder and you can see here uh, we've now got two countdown.txt just to remove one of those here and click open and there we have our path so now we've got our going live in the countdown up the top here and we can change the font and we can change it to whatever we like you can download fonts off the internet if you wish or just use the built-in fonts which are in here you can also change the size of your font and I advise you to go up to something uh, pretty sizable I would say something along the lines of say 150 200 something like that just to give you a better size okay and if you want to do that you can just type it in and I'll show you how to do that in a second but you can see here also we do have uh, some fonts that are built in here which you can choose so I'm just going to choose one of these but if you've got your own fancy font that you want to use uh, you can uh, download those off the uh, font sites there's loads of them on the internet and choose which font you want I'm just going to use this one for now okay now you can see here we have a strike out underline and also up the top here we have uh, the size and if you want to change that you can see here I'm changing the size of it by typing up the top here so let me put 200 in here uh, and this will make it nice and big there we go so what we've got now is our font set out you can see here we've got background color you can change all the background color if you wish and uh, do all that sort of good stuff if you want to do that and also you've got some other bits and pieces inside here also which you can change as well so choose that color scheme that you want and uh, you can go ahead and do that so it all matches all your colors that you want to use okay and there's loads of preset ones here or you can use uh, the little palette up the top there now again you can also use gray, uh, gra uh, gradient here and stuff like that uh, to change it up if you wish and you can see loads of goodies on here which you can change here the opacity and stuff like that okay now what I'm going to do is show you how to add in your own background so if you create your own background inside Photoshop or you've got a video type uh, file background animated I'll show you how to add both of those in right now so what I'm going to do here is click OK and click OK and it does look a bit basic but I'm going to show you how to spice it up a bit with your own backgrounds and animated backgrounds if you want to okay and you can do those in Photoshop or you can use some that are already pre-made online you can download them so you can see here we now have our counter here I'm going to add in um, something else here let me just add in an image and I'll show you quickly how to add in your own custom images that you may have especially if they're transparent I'm just going to call this one background click OK here and uh, what we're going to do is go to the path where our background is I've already got one made here you can spend a lot more time creating your own custom backgrounds uh, to the way you want to do it and uh, I'm just going to add this one in just to show you so now I've added in a logo here with uh, the timer clicking down so now people will know that Brightech is going live in this amount of time and they can wait and you can wait till the room populates a little bit now also what you can do here is add in a, something a little bit more customized like an animated background and to do that you can go to a media source and uh, that's pretty straightforward you just call this whatever you like I'm going to call this video background and there is sites where you can download these or you can have, if you're clever enough you can build your own uh, stuff so I'm going to put in loop here because we want it to loop and be continuous and I do have a file here and I'll show you the website where you can get these as well and I'm going to click OK here and this is now going to be OK and it's going to run in the background but now we've lost our text but all we need to do here is bring that up so and move the video to the back there we go and we've got our background up and now we can bring up our font 
as well so for our countdown and there we go that looks pretty cool if you ask me so that will be just running and it will let people know you're going live um, in well one minute and 48 seconds and they can all get ready get their drinks and stuff like that and you can then go live and you can do um, rest breaks and stuff like that you can make all your own uh, stuff here and list them all down inside OBS now if you want to see anything else about OBS or any other types of settings that you want me to show you I will make those videos for you now you can see if you want to stop the timer you just have to click stop and the timer will disappear and that will be that and it will only start when you start your stream and you start the uh, snares okay now that animated background you can get them from here it's called looping animated background dark blue uh, grid with particles as you can see here and basically you just uh, go here and uh, you can uh, download them they're pretty uh, easy to do very nice to have and they're very useful to add into your uh, countdowns anyway I think that's going to be about it let me know what you want to see with OBS next and I'll do my best to make those videos for you have a great weekend guys and I shall see you again for another video uh, real soon thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.